Hi, it's Susan, and after last week we had a pretty complicated science experiment making cars with balloon power. This week I wanted to do something simple and easy to set up, and I decided to do making pictures using our thumbprints. So I gathered some books. Uh, most of them are by Ed Emberley. This is where I got some of my ideas. He breaks it down, how to make fish and birds and all sorts of, and people and motion. And then the materials you need are just paper to print on, stamp pads, and your colored markers to make it more colorful. I also have a pile of paper towels or hand wipes, something that I can wipe my hands on in between doing different colors. So let's get started. So using this book as a guide, Ed Emberley's uh, one of his thumbprint books. He has several. I'm going to make a beak, an eye, a wing, a tail, little legs, little feet. So I'm going to do fish. Thankfully I have a better ink pad for blue. Find my fish. This book has holidays and all sorts of things, I think. Go from there. So here are my fish. I'm gonna do an eye, a smile. Again, they make them really simple with little fins on both parts and a tail. I could do little bubbles if these fish are underwater. I kind of think of Swimmy, the book. And it's kind of fun to just start with something simple. Like, oh, that's easy. And it is a cartoon. And from far away, it looks pretty good. Pretty. So I wanted to try the frog. I have a kind of a teal green, I think. Yeah, it's a little dark for the frog. And I'm gonna give myself two chances to make the frog. Bubble eyes. Smile. I like it slightly lighter. Okay, so here's where we go. These are all step by step. And then it says ribbit. One more fun one was the spider. I think I'm going to make my spider green also. And then what's also fun is there are there are ways to make people make this little guy, this little person just has a very simple hat. And he could be a cowboy. So this is just from looking at one set of books in our collection and books with more complicated artwork made with fingerprint. And then Ed Emberley also has drawing books as you can see. There's also craft books. So give us a call if you would like some fun ideas to look through. So, all right, fun for this week and we'll see you next week.